Climate change is for real. It's one of the biggest challenges of mankind has ever seen. It's up to us to react and uh, we need to do it together, globally. Imagine just if we would see a rise of uh, sea level with one meter. In Asia alone that would mean that 100 million people have to move. So our world has a fever and we have the knowledge how to meet this. That's why we need global cooperation and a decision in Copenhagen in December how to react to this challenge. We need to start where science is pointing us, taking in the fact that we need to meet the two degree target that has been agreed throughout the world, take down the emissions to make this possible. How do we prevent climate change? Well, we have learned that you could combine sustainable economic growth with the lowering of greenhouse gas emissions. That's the important lesson. That enables developing countries the right to develop even in the future. And that gives us also the answer uh, that we need globally. We welcome very much the decisions taken by the G8 and the Major Economy Forum meeting in L'Aquila this summer especially the acceptance of the two degree target by the major economy forum was very important. Um, to be able to achieve that we have said that we need to take down the emissions by 50 percent globally by 2050 and by 80 percent by the most developed countries at the same time. In Europe we have said that with mid-term targets we are uh, engaging ourselves to take down our emissions 30 percent uh, if we can also see same kind of achievements of other parts of the developed world. That's our way of saying we will take our important responsibility to be able to meet global change. The developing countries are now putting up their efforts to limit their greenhouse gas emissions. This needs to be strengthened. We need to do more. But it's important to remember this is possible to do and at the same time have economic growth. To be able to meet with the two degree target, to be able to meet uh, the total effect of climate change, also the most developed of the developing countries need to make more of an effort. In some cases we are talking about a 30% reduction in comparison with business as usual. This is needed to be part of our international agreement to be able to say to the people of the world that now we have actually met the challenge of global heating and warming. Let's be clear on one point. The main responsibility lies with the most developed countries of the world. And I'm very worried that the uh, emissions reductions that has been presented up till now is insufficient. I therefore urge the most developed countries to uh, put forward increased efforts regarding their national targets. We need this to be able to achieve what we now uh, need in the world, an agreement in Copenhagen, a global agreement to a global challenge that makes it possible for us to tell to the people of the world that now we have met this challenge, now we can stop the increase of the warming at two degrees.